Hello, I'm Mari, and in 2019 I hiked the Pacific Crest Trail. I've been making vlogs showing my whole experience, and one of the number one questions that everyone has been asking me is where I got this <laughs> straw uh, that's attached to my water bottle. So I thought I would just do a little video explaining about the straw and how you can make one too. So this straw, you can't actually buy it just like this. It's made up of three parts and it was made by a friend that I made on trail named Brightside. I go by Brightside, originally from San Francisco Bay Area. For all of you who first saw when I got this straw and you were like, whoa, what is that? Where can I get one? I 100% know how you feel because I felt the exact same way when I first met Brightside and saw him with it. And then he made me one, which was so nice. Thank you, Brightside. Because <laughs> all of you guys were asking about it, I kept trying to tell him that he should make them and sell them, but I guess the cost of the parts don't really make sense. Like, you wouldn't make a very good profit to make them and sell them, and it's like, he, I don't know. Anyway, he thought the better idea would just be to, he would share with me how he made it, and then I could share with you how it's made. So, thank you, Brightside, for letting us all know about how to make this awesome straw. <laughs> he sent me an email with all the instructions, so I'm going to go through and hopefully... It makes sense. So this is a one liter size water bottle. I used on my pack the smaller one, the one that normally comes with a sport cap, um, which I don't have with me right now, so I'm just showing this for reference. The idea with this straw is that it attaches to a water bottle and then attaches onto your backpack strap, like so. And so the first thing you wanna do is find a way to be able to attach the water bottle to your backpack. I used a ULA backpack and it comes with these shock cords already on that are made to hold water bottles, so it was perfect. I just put that on. Another option is to use a water bottle carrier. It's like a little fabric mesh pouch that attaches to the straps. I'll link everything below, so go check it out if you want any of these things. Bright side, when he gave me the straw, he also very kindly gave me one of those mesh pouches, but the pouch he gave me was in the one liter size. And when I first tried it on my backpack, since I'm, I mean, I don't know, I'm 5'6", I'm like an average female height, I think. Um, but it's just like when I tried to attach it, the one liter bottle, as you can see, is pretty big on my body. I tried attaching it, but then like my arm would hit it and it was just really uncomfortable. And then the straw was like way up here and that was awkward too. So I found with my body type, the 700 milliliter size bottle is actually better. Before you cut any pieces of the straw, just make sure you know what size water bottle you want to use because you don't want to cut the straw too short. So I guess I'll take this apart and then show you how to put it together. I've never done this before, so let's hope it goes well. So we have three pieces. The first piece that you're going to need is this straw part. Now, Brightside said that the exact straw he used, this one, he could not find that on Amazon anymore, so he's given me a link for something similar. Um, and again, I'm linking it all below so you can find them. The main things to look out for is that it just has a straw that goes into the bottle, um, the cap that's going to screw on to whatever size bottle you want to use, and then a straw coming out the top as well. The first thing you want to do is make sure that the inner straw part is the correct size for your, whatever bottle you're using. Obviously, this one is not going to fit in this one because I use a smaller bottle, but put it in, screw it on, and make sure that um, the tip is touching the very bottom. Um, and again, you can always cut it shorter, but you can't make it longer. So just err on the side of longer at first if you're a little bit unsure. And then you're going to want to decide how high up you want the mouthpiece to be. Put the bottle on the strap and kind of just see where you think is a good size for the mouth. This straw usually comes longer, um, so just cut it off wherever you think is a good spot for you. The next piece you need is a Camelback Crux on off valve. Um, so this is just like a little piece like this. It has a lock on it, so when you put it up like this, um, it's locked and water won't come out, which is actually so handy when you're going to bed at night or like you're taking off your pack, I don't know, just anytime you don't want water to accidentally leak out. Um, and then when it's like this, it's on. Brightside thought a lot about this design and he says the other reason why he liked this is that this little mouthpiece angles <laughs> this way so that um, it's the perfect angle kind of for your mouth. Um, so it's just this little piece adapter. So you're gonna put this um, onto the straw. And then the third piece that you need is a Camelback bite valve. So this is just a really standard bite valve. And you just put this 
on. Uh -oh. do, 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 do. All right. That's all. It's so easy. All you need besides the materials is a pair of scissors and you're good to go. The next thing people have been asking is, did I like it? Did I like using it? The answer is yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought it was really handy. Just drinking from a straw while walking was so easy. It was just right here and so it I felt like even every time I just turned my head to look this way, I was like, hmm, water. <laughs> so I think it encouraged me to drink more water, which was really nice out there because, you know, it's good to stay hydrated. I just really found it easy and I didn't have to like do the awkward like, oh, I gotta reach back here and try and find a water bottle. Hands free, you can be doing anything. You can still be using your um, walking poles and then just take some sips of water. So yeah, I really liked it and I did utilize this um, off valve. I mean, sometimes this would get dirty or something, but you just kind of clean it off with some clean water. I have noticed that, so I didn't clean it out after I stopped using it, and now it's like inside this straw is like a little bit of mold, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clean that. Um, but while I was on the trail, it was perfectly fine. I think as long as I was using it all the time, but once I stopped using it and there was a little moisture in there, that's when that happened. Uh, but yeah, so I really liked it. I definitely recommend. If you're wondering between doing something like this or using like a camelback actual type of bladder um, in your backpack. So the difference is I would say depending what type of uh, filtration system you use, I find water bottles are much easier to fill up and keep clean because you can switch them out um, as often as you want. Uh, and the water bladder is just a little bit more awkward and there is always the risk that it's going to break and get everything in your backpack wet. Whereas if you're keeping all your water on the outside of your pack, then that's never going to happen. I don't know how often that happens, but it's something to consider. So yeah, that is how to make the bright side through hiker straw. <laughs> And I know a lot of you are watching this because you are going to do a through hike coming up, which is awesome. I'm really excited for you. I will be doing videos soon about all the gear that I used and how I felt about it and all the clothing that I wore and my shoes and all of that good stuff because I know that's the kind of stuff that I wanted to know about before I started my hike and I just want to share my knowledge with you. <laughs> Not that I'm an expert, but you know, hey. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, more PCT vlogs, so much footage, so much more to come. Thanks for watching and happy hiking. Bye!